Not picking up, no? Hello? Yeah, we're good then. Hello? Okay, you're very welcome to the Mead Ladies Football Intermediate Final between Simonstown and Summerhill. Here, the ball thrown in there by referee Mark Power, and the game is on. It's caught by Eve Warlick. Eve. Passed it over towards Alba McHugh straight away. Alba hits a high ball into the full forward line to Nisha to Graf. Nisha does well to win that. Wins it in over the Summerhill full back. To holding on to the ball very well. It's uh, Kenny Marie Harris. Kelly on the left foot. It's a good effort from Kelly, but it's trailed off to the left and it's gone wide. And that's the first chance for Simonstown. The Simonstown line out is as follows. It goes to Nicole Byrne. Uh, right cornerback, Neve Sheridan. Full back, Gronya Harrington. Emma Cassidy is left cornerback. Ashling Cassidy is right half back. Katie Bellew is centre back. And Ashling Sheridan is left half back. Midfield of Eve Wardick and Alva McHugh. A half forward line of Kelsey Nesbitt, Eleanor Lane, and Rachel Gardner. And a full forward line of Kelly Marie Harris, Nisha de Graff, and Regina Hand. The Summerhill goalie, Louise McGee Dunn, uh, takes a quick kick out. Maybe this will be a game plan of theirs today out towards. The fullbacks, Julianne Scanlon and Summerhill work the ball up this right hand side. It's good play by Summerhill. Works up towards Anne Marie Fagan. Anne Marie Fagan picks the ball up. She's been tracked by Alva McHugh. That's a good ball to, into the centre there. But Simonstown doing very, very well to clear their lines. And it's Ashlyn Cassidy. Summerhill working the ball out. Alva McHugh on the ball. Alva gives it back towards captain Gronya Harrington. Gronya slices up her options. Plays a lovely ball into space there. And it's out towards the number 10 for Simonstown. It's Kelsey Nesbitt. Kelsey being well tackled, well marshaled there by Claude Gillespie. But Kelsey still on the ball. Gives it back towards number 5, Ashlyn Cassidy. Ashlyn looking for a ball into the corner to Kelly Harris. But it doesn't come off. And it's going to be a sideline ball to Summer Hill and it's going to be taken more than likely by Christina Ennis. A lively start here. Simonstown appear to be playing with the breeze, although it's kind of hard to tell. It's swirling around the pitch here. Fabulous grounds here in Dunamore. Kira Kennedy uh, has the ball for Summerhill. Let's do try and work it out. It's not a great pass though. And Eve Wardick has it. Eve wins the ball. Gives it back towards number 12. Simonstown is Rachel Gardner. Simonstown working over and back across the field here. Finds uh, Kelsey Nesbitt again. Kelsey's done an awful lot of ball. She still has it. It's been taken off her there. She might have just got a little bang to the head. The referee has decided it's going to be a free, I think. Hand not exactly extended yet, but he seemed to signal it was going to be a free to Summerhill. And I think he's probably going to take the safe option here and hop the ball. Very large crowd here for this intermediate final, of course. Simonstown, winners of the junior final last year, defeating Dean Rangers. They've actually won the junior title here just before them, so they'll be moving up to intermediate grade next year. I'm sure Simonstown will be hoping, and likewise, Summerhill to be moving back up to the senior ranks. It looks like he's going to throw it up between Kira Kennedy and Eve Wardick. Puts it up in the air. Eve does well to break it down. Eleanor Lane gets it. She gives it off towards number five, Ashton Cassidy. Ashton looking for a ball into the corner there towards Kelly Harris. She had a very, very lively start. Kelly has the ball. Trying to size up her options. Skips past her marker. And the referee judges her to have overcarried it. Think he might have been right there. Just took one step too many. And Summerhill working the ball out. Kira Kennedy on the ball. Kira trying to break the tackle of Eleanor Lane. Eleanor does well. Summerhill working the ball out quickly. I think it's Amory Fagan on the ball. Hard to tell the numbers from this distance, but Amory has been chased by Alva McHugh. She's got a good bit of ball early on. And Summerhill trying to work the ball in. Good tackling though. Simon Sound a very, very good back line. Amory Fagan yet again is there. It's picked up loose there by number 12, Rachel Gardner. Rachel bumps the ball in towards Nisha de Graff. Nisha's not going to get to this one, however, it's won instead by Julianne Scanlon. Julianne has the ball. Very, very tall player. Plays the ball out again to Amory Fagan, who's on the ball again. Amory's been tackled there by number 15, Regina Hand. Good tackling by Regina, she's not letting her out. But Summerhill have finally broken out with the ball. Megan Lyons, Megan does very, very well. Gives it back towards number 7, Claudia Gillespie and Summerhill are on the attack. Good tracking back there by Kelsey Nesbitt. They haven't got too many balls into the forward line yet. Jenny Rispin plays the ball inside into the full forward line. Summerhill have it. Still no score in this intermediate final. Does very, very well to win that ball there. And it's going to be a free in. Free in for Summerhill. Alicia Devlin winning that free there. It was a good ball in by Jenny Rispin. She had roamed out of the full forward position. And will be one of Summerhill's better known players. This referee likes to take his time. No rush here to get the thing going again. But eventually it's not going to be taken. Actually, it's Neve Crow is going to take this. Jenny Rispin. No, it's Neve Crow, and oof, that's a bad wide early on. 
And a bit of a let off for Simon Town there. That really should have been the first score of the game, but the score remains. No score to Summerhill. No score to Simon Town. And it's going to be a uh, first kick out, first touch of the ball for Nicole Byrne. Nicole looking out in front of her here. She opts to kick it out towards the left wing. She's looking for Rachel Gardner, or not Rachel Gardner, but Neve Sheridan, but it's well won by Summerhill. Summerhill have it. Kate Flynn has the ball. Kate breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles. Eve Warwick does well. To tackle goes back in towards Leisha Devlin. Leisha Devlin being tracked there by Gronya Harrington. Gronya trying to keep her out. Still Leisha Devlin on the ball, looking for options. She gets it eventually in there into the full forward line. It's come back out towards Jenny Rispin. Jenny, Jenny Rispin trying to break inside. A bit of danger here. Jenny Rispin does very well. Knocks the ball over the bar and you felt that the minute she got that ball, she knew exactly what to do with it. And Simon Snow will really have to tighten up on... Jenny Rispin there because you can't afford to be leaving her loose in front of the goals and the score now one point to Summerhill, no score to Simonstown. So Simonstown have had plenty of the ball but haven't done anything with it as of yet. And Nicole Byrne is going to bring it out to the 21 yard line and she hits it out. High ball, it's well judged by Alvin McHugh, wins the ball and Simonstown are on the attack. Eve Wardick gives it to Eleanor Lane, Eleanor just loses it at the opportune moment. And it's picked up instead by number six, Neve Dalton. And Summerhill coming away with the ball. It's played inside there. Alicia Devlin again trying to get onto the ball. But it's very well read by Gronya Harrington. Gronya picks it up and breaks away with the ball. She has outsider. She gives it towards Kate Bellew, Katie Bellew. Coming up the right wing. Plays a good long ball. But oh, it's picked up by Summerhill. Samson wasting a certain amount of possession. Kelsey, or, uh, Kelly Harris there tracking back. Fails to get it and it's won by Jenny Rispin again. Jenny Rispin has been picked up by Neve Sherrod. Now Jenny Rispin breaks away. Being possibly held back there. She still has the ball, however, looking for options. Plays a good ball across the field. It's not won, however. It's won instead by the cornerback for Simon Stone. It's Emma Cassidy. Emma does very, very well. And opts to throw the ball back there towards the number seven. Ashling Sheridan. And Ashling might give this to Gronja Harrington. Looks like she will. She's an excellent choice as captain and she gives a good ball down the wing there. However, it's won back yet again by Summerhill and this time it's Marie Fagan who's having a very good game. Gives it towards Neve Dalton. Uh, Summerhill working the ball very well. It's Jenny Rispin again. She gives the ball in. That's a very good play by Summerhill. They've lost it at the last moment but it's picked up instead by Kate Flynn. Kate Flynn goes for the score. Hits the post. Dangerous ball. Picked up by Katie Bellew. Katie drives it out to the ring. That's a very good ball. Out towards number 10, Kelsey Nesbitt. Kelsey, a very lively player. She's looking for Kelly Harris inside. Kelly racing out. That's an excellent play by uh, Simonstown. Kelly on the ball. Kelly taps it on her left foot. Trying to get away. She's gone. Kelly is a little bit of space in front of her now. And she's a very, very quick player. Kelly Harris. Kelly is still going. Looks inside for... She's looking in for Eleanor Lane. Is she going to get to it? No, it's just going to trickle harmlessly out over the end line. And it's going to be a kick out for Louise McGee. Done. And the score. Remains the same. One point between the sides. Uh, used to be Tactical Summer Hill here. They're taking their time with the kickouts. Trying to find their player from the kickouts. And they actually have a very good system there. They're looking for short kickouts the whole time. It's working very, very well. Summer Hill working the ball out. Their team has moved around quite an amount. It's Kira Kennedy who's number 14 on her back, but she's certainly not playing as a full forward. Claudia Gillespie, Claudia Gillespie looking to give the ball inside there, looking for Leisha Devlin, Leisha's not going to get to this one however, instead Katie Bellew, well she gave it away in the end and she's looking for Jenny Rispin, Jenny Rispin wins the ball, she's proving quite a problem at the moment, that's a super ball inside, but Nicole Byrne reads it well, she was looking for Neve Crow and Nicole opts to kick it over the sideline, it was very very good intention there by Jenny Rispin, she was looking inside, looking for the number 12 Neve Crow, very nearly came off. Good uh, vigilant play by Nicole Byrne. She was off her line very, very quickly. Nicole, one of many young players that have worked her way up through the side here in Simonstown. And Jenny Rissman is going to take the line ball. She's going to put this into the end line or into the square. It's one in there, however. And Simonstown worked the ball out again. Katie Bellew gives it to Eve Warwick. And away comes Simonstown. On the ball is number five, Ashling Cassidy. Ashling gives it to Eleanor Lane. L oh, nearly perfect there. She gave it off towards Ke Kelsey Nesbitt. Kelsey has the ball. Ashley Sheridan has continued her run. Ashley looking inside. Good ball to Regina Hand. Regina pops it towards number 12. Rachel Gardner. Time's time very nearly, very nearly coming off for them. Some nice hand passing, but just falling short. 
Regina was looking for Rachel Gardner there, but the pass just went astray. Ashling Sheridan tries to get out in front to win that ball. She's won the free. Eve Warlick going to take the free. Looking for Nisha de Graff in there. Nisha out in front. Doesn't win that one, however. And Summerhill are dealing very well with the Simonstown threat in the forward line. That's for the moment, anyway. Anne-Marie Fagan has the ball. Anne-Marie is doing very well and getting on a lot of ball in the middle of the field. Good tackling by the Simonstown forwards, though. Cutting out her options. That ball going inside there. In towards the Summerhill forward line. It's picked up very well by Ashton Sheridan. Ashton gives the ball out towards Emma Cassidy and Emma giving the ball up towards Alvin McHugh. Alvin's not going to get that. Up towards Regina Han. Regina doesn't get to this one, however. It's won by the Summerhill number five, who's... Charlotte Brogan, but she is put out over the line. Good tackling by Regina Hand, and it's going to be a line ball to Simonstown. Alvin Q is going to take it. Alva looking for Nisha DeGraff inside. Finds Kelsey. It's a good ball in towards Kelsey Nesbitt. Kelsey, oh, nearly caught it for first time. Gives it off towards Nisha DeGraff. Nisha trying to get onto her right foot. Good tackling by Summerhill. Eleanor Lane. Oh, just to the right and wide. It's good work by Simonstown. Some intricate hand passing, but it just didn't come off in the end. Great ball inside by Alvin McHugh for uh, Kelsey Nesbitt. Kelsey did well to offload it to Nisha de Graff, but Eleanor Lane just finished it and matched the build up on that occasion. Louise McG uh, McGee Dunn kicks the ball out yet again. They seem to be finding their player with kick out nearly every time. It's making lines on the ball, making a right foot of ball up yet again up towards Anne Marie Fagan. She seems to be everywhere at the moment. She has the ball, looks inside, good pass inside towards the forward line. I think it's. Is it Leisha Devlin again? She popping the ball in towards Jenny Rispin. Jenny Rispin just doesn't get to that one, however. And Simonstown have the ball coming out with the ball, and it's going to be a free kick for number seven, Ashling Sheridan. Ashling playing the ball out into space, out towards Eve Ward. Eve wins the ball, the right side of her player, and she takes off with it. Eve trying to get on a little bit of a run here, looking inside for Nisha DeGraff. She plays a good ball in there, in towards Nisha. Nisha's not going to get there, but it could fall kindly for... Ooh, nearly fell for Kelly Harris there, but didn't quite find her in the end. And instead, on the ball now is number 12, Rachel Gardner. Rachel, looking up, plays a good ball inside. Summerhill's defence has done very, very well so far. Everything that's been thrown at them, they've been able to handle it. And it's won in there by uh, Claudia Gillespie. Summerhill on yet another attack here. The ball finds its way towards Neve Crow. Neve, she has... Kate Flynn beside her but up to popping inside first time but on this occasion it's won by Neve Shirt and Neve coming bursting out with the ball didn't quite look where she was giving it and Jenny Rispin read it very very well indeed Jenny Rispin gives it inside towards number 12 Neve Crow Neve Crow wants to get onto her right foot she falls over she has Kate Flynn outside her Kate Flynn on the ball a right foot a kick by Kate Flynn it's going to fall short and Nicole Byrne has it Nicole looking out towards the wing nobody there at the moment she opts to hit a high ball out towards Alva McHugh Alva McHugh does well to win that ball the right wing is where an awful lot of the danger is for Simonstown. They're looking in there, looking for Kelly Harris. Kelly Harris fails to go down on it, but does enough just to get the ball back towards Alva McHugh. Alva McHugh has Eve Warwick bursting inside. Eve Warwick wins the ball around the centre of the field, gives it off towards number 15, Regina Hand. That's good work by Simonstown. Eleanor Lane trying to burst away from two or three players, gives it in towards Regina Hand. Regina's in a little bit of space here. Regina Hand racing in on goals. Simonstown could do with a score. Regina pops it high. And it's over the bar. And that's the first score for Simonstown. That might just settle them down a little bit. Very, very good work by Regina Hand. It was the first time any of the Simonstown forwards seemed to find any space inside their marker. And she did well to race away and she pops it with the right foot over the bar. So the scores are level here in Ashburn. About 15 minutes gone. And Summerhill looking for this pinpoint uh, kick out again, which they've done very well to find so far. Their kick outs have been excellent. Simonstown would do well to just watch what they're doing with these kickouts. On this occasion, she's forced to kick it out long, however. And on this occasion, Simonstown win the ball. And it's won by Kelly Harris. Kelly gives it back towards their, her wing half back, Ashton Cassidy. Ashton Cassidy showing great pace there. Trying to find Kelly Harris. Didn't find her. It was a Kelsey Nesbitt she was looking for on that occasion. And Summerhill break. But not a great ball, however. And Ashton Sheridan's in front. She doesn't win it. It's won instead by the number 10, Megan Lines for Summerhill. It's a bad ball, however. And Alvin McHugh picks it up around the centre of the field. Alvin McHugh, she has players left and right of her. She get ups to give it towards number five, four, Emma Cassidy. Emma Cassidy gives it back towards Alvin McHugh. Alva racing inside. Very strong player. Still on the ball. Still by Alvin McHugh. Pops it inside there in towards Kelly Harris. Kelly Harris tries to break away from her player. She's well marked there. Instead, it's won by Alva McHugh again. Alva pops a high ball in. Nisha DeGraff is in there. Dangerous ball. Could fall for Nisha DeGraff. Still Nisha DeGraff. She shoots. Oh. 
And it's gone to the right and wide. And that is a real danger for uh, Summer Hill. Those high balls into Nisha to Graf. She's very, very strong. Very strong in the air. On this occasion, it didn't work out. But all she needs is one or two chances. And that ball will be in the back of the net. Uh, Simon Sounds forwards certainly moving an awful lot better now. I think Kelly, it was a Kelly Harris there, just got a little bit of a bang as she tried to take on her player. Summer Hill's defence playing very, very well in fairness. Uh, their cornerbacks, Kira Jackson and Christina Ennis doing well. Fullback Julianne Scanlon has dealt well with the threat in each of the graphs so far. I suppose sometimes the most difficult thing in a final can be just to play, come out and actually play the final and play well. The nerves certainly gone off at this stage. Still can't figure out this breeze. I think it might be. Uh, in Summer Hill's favour. Oh, that kick out is well cut out by Kelly Harris. Plays a nice ball inside, looking for Nisha Graf. Nisha on her right foot. Nisha shoots. Good score. And they seem to have figured out the Summer Hill kick outs, and they're certainly putting a lot more pressure on them. And as a result, now they find themselves two points to one in front. Good play there. Good thinking by uh, Kelly Harris. Just played the ball inside, and it was nicely popped out. A little bit of a mistake, perhaps, by the fullback Julianne Scanlon to let Nisha Graf on the ball. And more pressure on the kick out. Rachel Gardner is in very, very quick. On the number 14 for Simon or for Summerhill, Kira Kennedy. But Summerhill working the ball out now. If they could get the ball into their forward line, they certainly look dangerous. But their problem is getting the ball in that far because all of a sudden Simonstown are exerting an awful lot of pressure. Well picked up by Kelsey Nesbitt, gives it in towards Alva McHugh and Regina hands on the ball now. Regina looking for Kelsey Nesbitt again. Just over hit the pass on that occasion. And Summerhill are going to break. Amory Fagan. Amory Fagan plays the ball out towards the wing there. Out towards number the number. I think it's the number 12. I think it's Neve Crow. She's taking her time on the ball. Gives it inside there. Finds Kate Flynn. Kate Flynn in front of her marker. Who's Ashley Cassidy. Still Kate Flynn on the ball. They're working the ball in very, very slowly. Good tackle. Ooh, looked a good tackle to me there on that occasion. Um, but the referee says no. Says it's going to be a free. It was a foul on Neve Crow. And it's going to be a free kick for Summerhill. It's going to be taken by Jenny Rispin. Centre back, uh, Neve Dalton, is gone off. And I think it's number 15, Andrea Pearl, who's on. Summerhill take... A very clever, quick free kick. Jenny Rispin on the ball. Jenny Rispin is the real threat for Summerhill. She's holding up the ball well. That's super tackling. Very aggressive tackling. A little bit too aggressive, says the referee, by Ashling Sheridan. Uh, but Jenny Rispin, very, very cleverly there. She worked that free kick nicely. And she now has a free kick a little bit close. So the referee is putting the Simon Stone player in the book there. I think it's Ashling Sheridan. And it's going to be a free, a free kick going to be taken there for Summerhill. Now, she's about 20... 26, 27 yards out. She's in front of the goals. I think she might have missed uh, an easier one early on. So this will be a chance to make amends for that. She's hit a right-footed kick. That's a good score. It's up. It's over the bar. Good score for Summerhill. There's a large Summerhill crowd here. As there is a large Simonstown crowd. And uh, it's two points each now. So maybe a little bit lax by Simonstown there. They allowed the quick free kick to be taken. You know, should have been a little bit tighter. It was clever enough. Jenny Rispin played the ball back to her midfielder. The midfielder just had a one on or a two on one then. She played it into Jenny Rispin and she won a, a very kickable free. It's Nicole Byrne looks for the kick out. Hits a high ball. Oh, it's a very good kick out. It goes all the way down towards the centre forward.
this time everything was perfect about it. Kelly Harris was one on one. Hit it hard, hit it low, but the goalie made a super, super save. Not a whole lot more she could have done there. No, definitely not. No, she got down very, very quick. All right, Farah, she's terrific, yeah. Ball kicked out by uh, Louise Dunn. They're struggling with their kickouts now, and Simonson have really begun to exert a bit of control there. Eve Orlick winning that kick out. And the high ball has been pumped in there time after time. Nisha de Graff will get another shot at it here, right footed. But the radar a little bit off there with Nisha. And at this stage, you'd have to say Summerhill a little bit lucky to be level. Simonstown have been the better team this last 10 minutes. And the kickouts, they've really tightened up in the kickouts here at Simonstown. They're working very hard to make sure there's not too many short kickouts. Now, this time again, it's Kira Kennedy. And you feel the winning of this game for Simonstown is surely in stopping those quick kickouts because they seem to have the measure of them. That ball is won, however, and Summerhill are on the attack again. It's picked up there by Kate Flynn. Kate Flynn loses the ball. There's a bit of a scrap for possession, but Summerhill have it. Back to Kate Flynn again. They're looking inside the whole time, probably looking for Jenny Rispin. That's well cut out by Rachel Gardner. She read it very, very well. She dropped deep, and she has the ball now. She do well to use possession, but she doesn't use it particularly well. Kicking it straight to a Summerhill player. Kelsey Nesbitt does well to win that ball. Nearly wins it back. Great work by Kelsey Nesbitt. Super. And it's picked up then by number five, Ashlyn Cassidy. Ashlyn Cassidy bursting through, gives it to Eleanor Lane. Eleanor Lane pops a good ball into space there, looking for Kelly Harris. Doesn't win this one, however, it's very, very well won by Christina Ennis, who's a very, very good player in fairness. She's having a really good game there. It's popped off by Kira Kennedy and Julianne Scanlon kicking the ball down the wing, but not, not down the wing, maybe she intended to, but she gave it instead to Eve Wardick. Eve Wardick and Simonstown are on the attack again. Eve Wardick on her right foot gives it towards Regina Hand. Regina's having an excellent game, a right foot kick from Regina Hand. And that's a super score from Regina Hand. I think that's Regina's second score of the game. And she's very, very accurate, and she's having an excellent game in there in the corner. And Simonstown have hit the front. Three points to two. That's a poor kick out that time. And Simonson will quite happily let that one trail out over the end line. Looking for Nisha the graph. Fails to find it. Gillian Scanlon picks it up instead. Summerhill are really struggling to get the ball up to their top player there. Jenny Rispin is up the other end of the field. They're working hard, but ultimately they're kicking the ball down to a player that they're leaving loose. And yet again, Eve Sheridan sweeps the ball up, and that's definitely a mistake by Summerhill. And a referee... has stopped play there. Might just be cramp. There's a flurry of activity over there now. Not quite sure what happened, but a break and play anyway. About 20... 23, 24 minutes gone, I'd say. Three points to two. Yeah, Simon's Town having good performances all over the field, in fairness. A quick free, taken by Kelly Harris. Finds Eleanor Lane. Eleanor pops towards Nisha de Graff. Nisha bursting through. Still Nisha de Graff on the ball. Bit of a chance here for Simon's Town. Nisha de Graff shoots. Blocked. And the goalie's having an excellent game in there. Summerhill trying to work the ball out. They have it. The full forward in there, it's Kira Kennedy. Kira, calm on the ball. That's obviously why she's back there. Gives it to Megan Lyons. Summerhill still have possession. They do better to try and work it out because as they're kicking it, they're kicking it away. Andrea Pearl has it. Andrea Pearl kicks a good ball. Summerhill are improving now. Good ball into space. It's going to be wet, red there by Gronja Harrington, however. Gronja has it. She's been faced down by Andrea Pearl. She's been fouled by Andrea Pearl, and that's going to be a free. And... Still just a point in it. Referee going to deal with the situation here. Yeah, it probably looked a little worse than it was in fairness. Just a lazy tackle. It just feels like I've had several chances in there. You know, going to have to take them at some stage because we feel if Summerhill got a chance, they might take theirs. So still only a point in it, even though Simonson have been the better side here in this second half. That's a really, really good catch. Excellent fetch by Anne-Marie Fagan who is a standout player for Summerhill. She's having an excellent game. Takes a kick down the wing there. It's still in play, still in play. It's got up now, it's gonna be a sideline ball. Uh, it's gonna be left to Regina Hand. Regina takes it. Regina looking up for options here. She might do well to kick this one long, however. Good ball, good ball to Eve Wardick. Very, very 
well seen pass there and away comes Steve Sheridan leaping tackle pops it back towards Ashling Sher- uh, Ashling Cassidy Ashling racing away here pops it towards uh, Kelly Harris Kelly has it Kelly still on the ball on her left foot super running by, Kel- uh, by Kelly Marie Harris still Kelly on the ball oh you can see what she was trying to do finds Eleanor Lane Eleanor very accurate player if she can just get a shot Gives it back towards Regina Hand. Regina trying to get onto her right foot. Good tackling by Summerhill, however. And Summerhill, that's, I suppose, where the player back is working for them. They're certainly putting pressure on them. They're running into problems though when they get to their half forward line. Rachel Gardner had a shot there. Failed to hit the target, however. And it's out in front of Ashling Sheridan again. Falls for Eve Wardick. Eve Wardick taking her time. Hits a right footed shot. Good shot from Eve Wardick. Dangerous shot dropping in towards the square. It's picked up again by the goalie Louise Dunn. Hits it out towards the wing. Out towards Amory Fagan. Amory on the ball. She's a real live wire. Uh, it's going to be a silent ball to Summer Hill. So it's really working. They're stopping the silence on forward line by having two or three players back there, but also even two or three loose players up here. I feel it's attacky that will stop them getting a the hammer, but it's not attacky that will help them win the game. Eleanor Lynn. Eleanor Lynn picks up the ball, gives it towards Gronja Harrington. Gronja. But coming forward there from the full back position. It's a good ball inside looking for Nisha DeGraff. Nisha wins it. Nisha turns our player. This is a real chance for Simon Stone. Nisha DeGraff racing through. Shot from Nisha DeGraff. And a goal for Nisha DeGraff. Excellent. Excellent work from Nisha DeGraff there. I worked in the summer camp with her during the summer. In fairness, she's working a lot harder out here than she did at the summer camp anyway. And she finishes her chance really, really well. At first, she's had two or three chances, and she certainly took that one excellently. And that's really the goal that you felt was coming in a good while for Simonstown because they have been the better team. It's going to be a free in for Summer Hill. One free to two points. So that will surely set the Simonstown down. But just one pass away there, a few times from getting the goal that would open this game up, and finally they've got it. Yet again, Summerhill will go for the short option. And Rispin pops the ball back and she's on the ball now. So she's been faced by two or three players. One of them is Gronje Harrington, the other is Rachel Gardner. He still has possession. Still Jenny Rispin on the ball. Packed by Alvin McHugh. That's good tackling by Simon Stone. Just getting bodies back there. And it's one in there yet again by the, the loose player who's Neve Sheridan. She's having an excellent game. She's given that one away, however. Summerhill have it. It's going to be a free in. A lot of loose players, but unfortunately for Summerhill, they're all further back out the field. Jenny Rispin is going to leave this free. And Nicole Byrne is going to take the kick out. Alvin McHugh is all alone here, and you feel she's going to kick it out to her. It's not the greatest ball. Ooh, just about made it. Wasn't the greatest pass, but it found its target in the end. And Simonstown have players over here and have a real chance to break forward because Summerhill had pushed forward. Trying to get the kick out. Eleanor Lane gives it into Alva McHugh. Eve Wardick is running off her as well. She gives it back out towards number five, who's Ashlyn Cassidy. Ashlyn Cassidy hits on her right foot. That will be a super score. That's a wonderful score by Ashlyn Cassidy. A wonderful move by Simonstown. They won the kick out and worked the ball the whole way up the field. And Summerhill's challenge is just going to take a little bit of a wobble now. And there's the halftime whistle. The referee blows the halftime whistle. It's 1 4 to Simonstown. It's two points to Summerhill. And you feel Summerhill are kind of trying to contain Simonstown. And all of a sudden, once that goal went in from Nisha de Graff, it seems to have settled Simonstown down. And that last score, in particular from Ashton Cassidy, it's back to a team that are very, very confident and are pushing forward at every opportunity. Simonstown, the better team, and deserve, definitely deserving their five point lead. So, halftime, Sky Blues will be very, very happy running that they'll be heading back to senior grade. Assumption the second half here. We have both teams, we don't have a referee. He's taking his time in there, enjoying the tea and biscuits, no doubt. More than I got for this job, Rona. Uh, a few positional switches here. I uh, note that uh, Kelsey Nesbitt has gone in full forward. Niche Graf now is at wing half forward. Uh, 
quite sure about Summer Hill now. Can't really notice any major changes. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Josie. Have uh, moves. Looks like Neve Sheridan is playing at centre back. Eddie Bellew is going into corner back. Yeah, former, former great. Okay. Think he's ready to roll eventually. Mark Power checking his watch. Hugh Alba racing away there from number 12, Neve Crow. Simonstown getting on the ball early. Good ball in from uh, Regina Han. Lovely crossfield ball. Finds Nisha to grab. Oh, that's super play from Simonstown. Gives it to Alba McHugh. Ne Eve Wardick has gone off. Gives it to Eve Wardick. Eve Wardick racing through. This will be some score. Gives it inside to Kelsey Nesbitt. Oh, another great save. Chance of a goal still. Finds its way back out towards Kelly Harris. Kelly on her left foot. And it's gone over the bar. That was a wonderful move from Simonstown. Excellent pass inside from Nisha DeGraff there to Alva McHugh. Alva popped it off to Eve Wardick. And very close to finding the back of the net there. But it's a good start for Simonstown. 1-5 to 2 points. And were it not for another excellent save from the Summerhill goalie, Louise Dunn. That would have been, would have been lights out, I think. Ball out long there, out towards the center. It's well read. They're good hassling by Simon Sound. They're getting in there. They're winning the difficult ball. Nisha de Graaf gives it to Alva McHugh. Back to Nisha de Graaf again. She started really well this second half. Looking inside for Kelly Harris. Kelly trying to get it onto her left boot. A good kick from Kelly. It's no, it's kind of screwed out to the left. It's one instead by Rachel Gardner. Referee, a judge store have pushed Summer Hill player. And it's going to be a free kick to kick by Julianne Scanlon. Summer Hill. Uh, Free kick, taking her time, planting it long down the field. Eve Warwick has read the ball very, very well. Just spills it at the last minute, however, into the arms of Charlotte Brogan. And Summerhill trying to start an attack from their own half, but Simon Sound are putting serious pressure on them back there. Back towards Amory Fagan. Amory is tackled, super tackling by Nisha de Graaf. Summerhill are under serious pressure here. Again, a great block by Regina Hand. This is excellent work from the Simon Sound forwards. Good ball inside by. It's won easily enough this time by Ashling Sheridan and Simonstown due to that excellent pressure the forwards put on Summerhill coming out with the ball. They have possession back again. Regina Han hits a left footed ball inside there looking for Rachel Gardner. Rachel doesn't win this one however and it's Summerhill who come away with the ball. Number 10 for Summerhill, Megan Lyons. Megan hits it down the wing which hits it out over the end line and it's going to be a sideline ball. It's going to be taken by Regina Han. Regina seems to have started on that left wing in the second half. Pops the ball inside looking for Kelsey Nesbitt. Kelsey wins it. Out in front of her player yet again. Great ball to Eve Wardick. Again, Eve Wardick bursting through the middle. Eve Wardick gives it off. This time towards uh, it's Rachel Gardner. Rachel Gardner back towards Eleanor Lane. Eleanor back towards Ke uh, Kelsey Nesbitt. Kelsey on her right foot. It's a dangerous ball. It could drop anywhere. Underneath it is Kelly Harris. Goalie wins it, however. Comes out with the ball. Has a right foot a kick. Not a very accurate one, however. And it's straight towards Rachel Gardner. Rachel back to Alvin McHugh. Alvin McHugh back to Regina Hand. Regina Hand pops it to Eleanor Lane, who was a player outsider. Eleanor. Twisting, turning, finds Emma Cassidy. Emma Cassidy, 20 yards out. Great move. Back to Kelsey Nesbitt. Kelsey Nesbitt. And again, brilliant patient football from Simonstown. Working the ball over and back across the knee there. And Kelsey Nesbitt's shot at the end. Just tailing to the left and wide. But textbook play, uh, textbook play there by the Simonstown forwards. They're putting serious pressure on these kickouts. I think whatever breeze is in it now is with Simonstown. Good movement by Summerhill, just trying to work an opening to get the ball out. But again, Simonson scores work so hard. This time it's Kelly Harris putting pressure on the Summerhill midfielder, Amory Fagan. She's an excellent player, but really she's under awful pressure to try and get the ball out of her own defence. 
Summerhill are just not finding the players and they're not finding them because of the work rate of Simon Sons forward line and again it's Kelsey Nesbitt Kelsey gives it to Alba McHugh Alba fails to hold on to that one she's about 21 yards out to the right hand side of the goals looking for Kelsey Kelsey looks like she was pulled back there she has the ball Still Kelsey on the ball, gives it back towards Regina Han. Regina gives it to Kelsey again. Great pass by Regina Han. Cuts inside Kelsey Nesbitt. She has a chance of a goal here. She hits it left footed. And it's gone to the left and gone wide. She's getting the chances. She's working hard to get the chances, but unfortunately, just didn't put that one away. Bit of a hold up here, the way he's done. Deciding whether she's going to kick it out or not. She's good kick out, high kick out again, out towards the Summerhill player, Anne Marie Fagan, who's definitely their best player today. She's working awfully hard, but she's pretty much on her own, trying to get the ball out of there. In her hands again, Nisha the graph. A really good move moving her out to wing forward because she's really doing an awful lot of work, an awful lot of tackling, and she nearly wins that ball back. Summerhill building from the back again but struggling to get the ball out of there. It's picked up by Jenny Rispin. Jenny Rispin racing away this time from Grania Harden. Two or three times on players go to her. It's out towards Kira Kennedy. Kira Kennedy on the ball. She's been well tackled there. Simon's trying to have enough players back to deal with the threat. And Jenny Rispin is forced to hit a right footed shot into the arms of Nicole Byrne. Wonderful tackling there by Simon Sound. They got the bodies back that they needed. Summerhill having a little bit of pressure now. But Alvin McHugh looking to lift the siege. Picks it up and gives it out towards the number four and uh, number two Neve Shard Neve a left foot of ball up towards Kelly Harris Kelly nearly gets to that one but not quite and it's picked up instead by Julianne Scanlon Julianne Scanlon it's cut out by Eleanor Lane Cody Gillespie pulls on the ball and finds way to Amory Fagan Amory Fagan racing away again on the ball she's looking inside for options there aren't too many they've come out a little bit too far she plays it inside it's won by the number 15 who's Andrea Pearl oh number 12 should I say Neve Crow and she's pulled down and all of a sudden someone else seemed to have woken up there Good work by uh, Simonstown though, getting the bodies back. Simonstown forwards working very, very hard, Peter. Yeah, great covering back in fairness, um, and that's what it's going to take, to be honest with you. Um, this is far from over, but I think if Simonstown get the ball forward and move the pace, they have the winning of it. But obviously, if they can see the goal, they could bring someone right back into the game. But look, at hard work is going to win it at the end of the day, nothing else. Certainly working hard enough at the moment, anyway. One five, three points. Dealt very, very well with the Summerhill threat there. Getting the bodies back, tackling, working hard. Eve Wardick has had a wonderful start to the second half. She's gotten two or three balls. Great kick out from Nicole Byrne. Finds Regina Hand. Regina tapping the ball, playing it down the wing, looking for Rachel Gardner. That one goes out over the end line. It's about the only mistake Regina's made today. She's had a super game. Uh, Summerhill going to take the sideline ball. Finding it hard to hold on to possession, Summerhill. Quick free taken to Julianne Scanlon, drives the ball in long there, looking for number 12, Neve Crow. Neve does very well to win that. She wins it in front of centre back Katie Bellew. Summerhill having a little bit of possession now at the moment, and it's going to be a free in yet again. And Simon Sound seems to have sat back a little bit now, and it's kind of not a good time to be letting Summerhill back into the game. An awkward enough free out on the right hand side here. It's been hit and miss, Neve Crow. She's hit a few very good uh, frees. That one isn't gone out, and it's one in there. I think it's Ashton Cassidy. Katie Bellew, sorry. This is Ashton Cassidy now. Ashton Cassidy racing forward, loses possession of it, however, and Summerhill have it. She fouls the Summerhill player, and Kate Flynn wins that free in. Summerhill just having a little bit of a purple patch at the moment, but they do have to put a few scores on the board. Simonstown cleverly dropping one or two players back into their defence, making life difficult. Excellent pass off the outside the boot there by Jenny Rispin. Plays it inside, and Summerhill trying to create a little bit of a threat in there. Kira Kennedy has moved a little bit further up the field here in the second half. She was playing pretty much at centre back for a lot of that first half. Summerhill trying to burst through, trying to get a score. It's a wild kick, however, it's gone to the right and gone wide. And in fairness, I don't think Andrew Pearl will be happy with that one. Simonstown just struggling a little bit at the moment Need to try and get their bearings they're getting pulled back a little bit um, Nisha de Graf has moved back into the full forward position Elsie Nesbitt's moved back out wing forward it's a high ball out around the centre oh it's fallen nicely for Eve Warwick 
Simon's out of two or three very fast players on the break here. One of them is Kelsey Nesbitt. Kelsey's racing away and she's not going to be caught. Still Kelsey on the ball looking for options. Sells a lovely dummy. Gives it off towards Nisha the graph. Nif Nisha looking for options. Gives it to Kelly Marie Harris. Kelly on her left foot. Great block down. Super block down from Summerhill. Summerhill corner back. But it comes back out towards Regina Han. And Regina kicks it effortless, effortlessly over the bar. That's a super score. And the minute that ball broke in the middle of the field. Simon's Town had... Ashton Cassidy and Kelsey Nesbitt racing onto it and you felt they were never going to get caught once they got away. Great kick out. Super kick out. Finds its target. That's Kate Flynn. Kate trying to get away from Eve Wardick. Eve putting in a good tackle there. Good ball into space. Looking for uh, Summerhill forward. Grainne Harrington read that very, very well. Just got up beside Jenny Rispin. She couldn't get, couldn't control the ball and away races Neve Sheridan. Neve Sheridan hits the ball into space. It's a good ball, finds its way towards Rachel Gardner. Rachel picks the ball up, looking for options inside. Pops it into Nisha the graph. Nisha doesn't get it at the first attempt, gives it back out towards Eleanor Lane. Eleanor holding the ball up, looking for Eve Warwick. Nice play by Eleanor Lane, lovely pass by Eleanor Lane in towards Kelsey Nez with a little bit of push in the back. Ref plays advantage, gives it to Regina Han. Chance for a goal, good save by the keeper again. Very, very brave, goes down on the ball. She's having an excellent game in there. Again, a lovely sweeping move by Simon Sullivan. It was a great ball in by Eleanor Lane. Yet again, she shows good vision. Finds Regina Hand. Regina about 20 yards out. Sells the dummy onto her left foot. That's a good effort from Regina Hand. And it's a good score from Regina Hand. I think that was off her weak foot. So that's a super score. And she'd have to be very, very happy with that score. And two points from Regina Hand is really setting Simon's Town down now with 173 points. A ball kicked out to the wing, but yet again, Kelly Harris works so hard to get on the ball. And it's going to be a Summerhill ball. I think she was trying to pull one over the linesman there. She's been up to the mother now. She wasn't trying to do that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Quick ball, looking for Kate Flynn. But again, Simon Town just working so hard. Emma Cassidy just loses out on that one, but it's picked up by Neve Sheridan. She's surely fouled, but gives it back towards... Uh, Kelly Harris, Kelly worked all the way back there after losing that line ball she worked all the way back to her own half back line super super work ethic and she's on the ball again she has Alva McHugh there Alva has a little bit of space now she do well to hold on to possession here still Alva McHugh on the ball looking for options inside Nisha de Graff is backing off she's going to play a high ball in there it's going to go to the right it's gone wide yeah it's gone wide I thought the goalie might have touched it but uh, the umpire says not Another substitute on there for Summerhill. You can't get a look at the number. Leave Dalton on. Her right leg is heavily strapped. Oh, she's in trouble here though because Regina Hand is racing through. Good tackle. Wonderful tackle there. She was just fresh on the field, so she did really well to get that ball back. Uh, it's gone straight towards Alva McHugh though. Being tackled Alva McHugh on her left foot. Good effort by Alva McHugh. Oh, could as easily have gone into the net. But it's a good score. An excellent point. Another score for Simonstown. It's 1-8 to 3 points. And doing really well now. Winning lots of possession. Yet again, that ball is picked up this time by Ingus Ashley. Sheridan. In towards Nisha the graph. Nisha looking to give the ball off. Pops it towards Eve Wardick. Eve Wardick gives it to Eleanor Lane. Eleanor Lane should be a simple chance for Eleanor. It's a right foot kick. Good score. Excellent. And they're really beginning to motor now. The Simon Sound forward line. They're finding each other. And the hand passes that were just falling short for about 10 or 15 minutes at the start of the game. They're finding their target now and it's, the, it's really been the difference between the two sides. Summerhill really struggling to get the ball out of their own back line. And you wonder what's the sense in having your best, your best player sitting inside in your forward line for the entire game and not getting the ball. But she's been really well marshaled in there with the Simonstown uh, back line. And Summerhill trying to get the ball back up the field again. It's a poor ball this time. It's picked up by Emma Cassidy. Emma Cassidy bursting through. The referee's probably going to give a free to Summerhill here for charging. Yep. And he's going to put it in the book. You seem to be a whole lot in that. Really good. Summerhill looking for a few scores to get back into the game here. Ball is picked up by Eve Crow. 
Crow cool on the ball here, looking for options, sells the dummy, might have overcarried it, gives it back out towards Kate Thing. Kate Thing has a ball over towards the wing, and Summerhill trying to just get a little bit of traction here now and get back into the game. Amory Fagan, Amory Fagan bursting through, gives a good ball inside, good work by Summerhill, but they're just being crowded out. Too many Simonstown backs there, a little bit of a chance, is that a penalty? She's inside Andrea Pearl, it is, it's a penalty, she will just haul down. It looked like Simon Stone had enough bodies back, but it was a good hand pass inside. She spotted the loose player, and I think it was Andrea Pearl that was pulled down. It's going to be a penalty, so referee measuring it out here. This will be a penalty spot mark. I think this is going to be taken by the number 12. I think it's Need Crow. Hard to see the white numbers from here. Oh, Nicole Byrne. Dancing around on her line here. Trying to make it difficult. Oh, very good penalty. There was no saving that. Tucked it right into the left corner. Excellent score. So six points in it again. After all, Simon's Town's good work. They still have the wherewithal to close this game out. Nicole Byrne wisely just taking her time. And number four has gone off. Christina Ennis didn't quite catch who came on there. Seem to have a lot of players uh, named the starters who didn't start, so... Eve Warwick is going to get to that. Well done by Eve Warwick. She did well to get to that ball. Gives it to Regina Han. Regina has been very, very well so far. They could do with getting another score or two there. Eve Warwick still on the ball. Eve has been tracked there by Anne-Marie Fagan. Eve gives an insight to Nisha DeGraff. Nisha DeGraff looking for options. Taps it on her right foot. Hops the ball. 20 yards out. Using her strength to hold off the player. Has Alva McHugh outside her. Alva goes for the score. No, that one's gone. It's gone wide. So Summerhill will be looking to maybe put the ball into the Simonstown uh, square again and ask a few questions. But you'd have to say it was the only time in the game really Simonstown got opened up. Uh, substitute on here for Simonstown. Number 17, Ruth Cochran. Uh, she's gone into the forward line. Uh, Julian Scannon does well to win that under serious pressure from Kelly Harris. His uh, work rate is pretty incredible. She's all over the place here. She's tackling, she's winning ball, and so is this girl on the ball, Regina Hand. She seems to be everywhere at the moment. Alvin McHugh gives it off, and it's wonderful support play by Ashton Cassidy inside her. Still Ashton Cassidy on the ball, gives it back to Regina Hand. This is a wonderful move back to Eleanor Lynn. It's cut out. Eleanor does well though to win the ball back. Kelly Marie Harris on her left foot again, gives it back to Eleanor. Eleanor trying to get it on her right boot. Good tackling. Well, referee says no, so it's going to be a free in. Uh, Eleanor got a bit of a bang on her shoulder there. And she's won the free in. Kelly is going to take this free, I think. But again, wonderful work down the right wing again. And Ashton Cassidy, Regina Han, just doing great work getting the ball forward, as was Alvin Q. Pretty much taking the right options every time they get the ball up into the forward line, in fairness. So, at about 12 or 30 minutes to go here in this intermediate final. It's looking like Simon Stone's day at the moment. They lead by 1-9-1-3 with a pretty kickable free right in front of the goals here for Kelly. Kick by uh, Kelly Marie. That's a good score. Very, very good score over the bar. And again, that's a seven-point lead again. It's going to be a kick out by Louise McGee Dunn. Trying to find the midfield. Eleanor Lane breaks the ball down, but Summerhill have picked it up. And it's Kate Flynn, who's had a good steady game for uh, Summerhill. Ball played on there by Julianne Scanlon. That's good work. Back to Kate Flynn again. Looking for someone to give it to. Gives it to Jenny Rispin. Jenny Rispin trying to find an option inside. She was looking for the ball over the top, but she's doing well tracked by Eve Warwick. Not getting away from her. Right footed kick from Jenny Rispin. That's a dangerous ball. Could go anywhere. It's one inside. Oh, it's in the back of the net. It was a very, very dangerous ball from when it left her boot and it ends up in the back of the net. It's a very, very good score. Scoreboard says it's 1-9 to 2-3. I think it's 1-10 to 2-3. That last score by uh, Kelsey Nesbitt wasn't put up on the scoreboard. But anyway, play continues. I think there's four points in it. But that certainly puts a different complexion. It was a good kick in by Jenny Rispin. Very, very high, dangerous ball. Referee says it's a free to Simonstown. 
Southampton would do well to respond with a score here. Several times they've looked very comfortable in this game, and yet they've let Summerhill in. They've got two score, two goals. Looking for Nisha DeGraff. The ball breaks. Nisha, has she got it? She has. Gives it to Eleanor Lane. Gives it back to Nisha DeGraff. She has two or three options in there. Oh, on that occasion, didn't take the right one. If she had looked to her right, Ashlyn Cassidy was racing through the middle, looking for the ball. This has been the biggest problem for Summerhill, actually finding somebody from the kickouts. Adam McHugh is doing a very good job there on Amory Fake and not giving them the quick kick out. But onto the ball there comes number 12, Neve Crow. And Summerhill are on the attack again. And you wouldn't like to see them pumping any more ball into that Simon Stone Packlin. Ah, pushing the back there, surely, on Gronja Harrington. The ref doesn't give it. Good tackle by Gronja Harrington. Did well to get the near hand in. But Summerhill are on the attack here again. They have two or three options. Simon Stone need to weather this storm. Good ball in for Jenny Rispin. A chance to the right foot. It's over the bar. Another score for Summerhill. And it's now 1-9 to 2-4. Although I think it's 1-10 to 2-4. I don't think... The scoreboard says two points. I think that's three points between the sides. Same sound. Really need to win this kick out if they can. Have they got their hands on it? It's that girl again, Ashlyn Cassidy. She's literally everywhere. And she wins a very, very important kick out for Simonstown. And this little break might do them no harm at all. Definitely Simonstown have enough footballers to close this game out. They just need to get the ball in hand and just just basically calm down and do the right thing with it. Nearly every Simonstown substitute puts their hand up for the line ball to help the linesman there. Very thoughtful. And Ashton Cassidy is on the ball again. She has two or three options. Eve Wardick is one of them. She gives it inside into the substitute route. Cochran, but she's lost that ball. And Summerhill have it. And Summerhill are coming out with the ball. Regina Han racing back into her own back line. Organising. Trying to win possession back. Good thinking. The minute that they lost that ball, Regina ran about 30 or 40 yards back into her own defence. That's the presence of mind that Simonson are going to need to win this game. Good tackle there. Alvin McHugh just not dislodged the ball, but failed to win it, and the ball goes inside. Jenny Rispin is going to get to that one, or is she? Ball squirming loose there, but it's won, and well held on to by centre-back Katie Bellew. Katie Bellew gives it off towards uh, number seven, Ashling Sheridan. Ashling gives it back towards Alvin McHugh, so there's... Settling down again on the ball. It's a high ball looking for Nisha to graph. Nisha would do well to win this one. They really need a ball. Might have been a push in the back there. But they're the type of calls you just don't get when you're under pressure. And on the ball is Amory Fagan. Amory Fagan turns, twists onto her right foot. Looking for options. There's no options there. Jenny Rispin looking for... Oh, that's a super pass. Super pass inside. And Summerhill are racing away again. Good tackle. Has she managed to get the ball there? Ref says no. Kate Flynn on the ball. She has two or three options inside. Still holding possession. He's put up his hand as if to give advantage. There's no advantage there. And Simonstown come away with the ball. That was a bit of a chance there. There is three points. The scoreboard's been corrected. Three points between the sides. And away it comes. Ashlyn Cassidy gives it to Kelly Harris. Kelly gives it back to Ashlyn Cassidy. Kelly might be even able to go again. Gives it to Kelly again. Eve Warlick raised it through the middle. Eve Warlick on the ball. Knocked away by Amory Fagan. Eve Warlick looking up for options inside. Turns. Going to hit this one herself. Looking to give the ball into Kelsey Nesbitt. The ball is broken away and away it comes Summerhill. Summerhill player Charlotte Brogan kicking a long ball down the wing. But it's going to be picked up by number seven, Ashton Sheridan. Ashton Sheridan giving the ball on. Finds its way to Alva McHugh. Alva has Regina hand beside her. Regina moving into space. You feel Regina's going to go for a score if she gets this. Gives it back towards Eve Warlick. Eve taking her time, looking inside. Two or three moving. Alva McHugh on it. Alva McHugh hits it on the right foot. A very important score for Simon Stone. And they go four ahead again. A really, really well worked score. And Summerhill had a little bit of a chance down there, maybe to get a score anyway and put two in it. Failed to take it. Now 1-11 to 2-4. Ashton Cassidy up. Breaks it down to Kelsey Nesbitt. Gives it to Kelly Harris. Kelly Harris. Lovely left footed pass inside to Eleanor Lane. Eleanor twisting and turning. Trying to get onto her right foot again. Gives it out towards Eve Wardick. Eve. Being faced here by number six, Eve Dalton. 
Gives it in towards Kelsey and Esbeth. Kelsey trying to burst inside. Good tackle. Super tackle by the Summerhill backline. Hell firm there. Super play there by Summer Summerhill. Not fouling. Not letting her in. Still four in it. You feel Summerhill will need another goal. They're running out of time. About six minutes left at the Good quick kick out. And that's kind of the first time they found a quick kick out in a while. And the game is really opening up a lot now. Away goes Neve Crow. Neve Crow racing past one or two tackles. Good tackle. Super work. Alva McHugh, another person has worked awful hard today. Here's Amory Fagan. Amory Fagan, pretty quick player, but she's been tracked down by an even quicker player. And that's Ashlyn Cassidy. She knocks the ball away. Regina Han robbed as she comes out with the ball. And illegally so says the referee. And it's going to be a free kick to Simonson. Kicking up towards Eve Wardick. Eve Wardick around the centre of the field. Hits a high ball inside. It's a high ball that just nobody's going to get there unless the Simonstown substitute is going to get there at the number 17. Rue Cochran, she doesn't get to that one. However, and away comes Summerhill. A right footed kick down the wing. Is it going to stay in play? It is. Finds its way towards number 12, Neve Crow. Neve Crow trying to break away from the tackle there. She skips away from Ashling Sheridan. Still Neve Crow on the ball. She's been held up. Probably earns a free there. She does. It's going to be a high ball inside. No, play on to the ref with the right footed ball inside. Finds its way in towards full forward. Two or three players there. She holds it up. Gives it back out. Nisha Devlin still has the ball. Summerhill had a brief chance of a score there. And that's a point. And Simon Sound not just out of the woods yet. We're looking just a little bit more indecisive in the back line than they were, maybe. But in fairness, Summerhill have upped their game and are playing reasonably well now. And Marie Fagan in particular. It's a launching pad for an awful lot of their attacks. High ball out. Julianne Scanlon under it. It breaks. Alva McHugh needs to get to this one. She does. Wins it. Looking for options inside. It's a good ball. And away goes Ashlyn Cassidy again. She's racing away. She could do well to keep going. Gives it to Eve Warwick. Eve Warwick to Eleanor Lane. Bit of a chance for Simon's on here. Eleanor Lane. Good option. Pops it over the bar. They needed that score. Four in it again. Take your parachute. I am. Stop you ever getting sorrow If the winds don't catch you I will, I will If the wind's not there I'm here Turned into a very, very good game of football 110 to 2 6 Scoreboard man not having a great day. He's changing the scores every few minutes. And not because of the scores. Ball kicked out. Amory Fagan tries to win it. But Kelsey Nesbitt picks it up. Kelsey being faced by Amory Fagan gives it back in towards Kelly Harris. Thank God Kelsey's wearing a headband, otherwise I wouldn't know the difference between the two. She gives it back towards Eve Wardick. Eve Wardick in towards Eleanor Lane. Eleanor back towards Eve Wardick. Chance of a goal. That's a good score. Umpire did well to spot it, in fairness, because it came fairly quick at her, but it's good score and it's five between the sides. 111 to 26. No, it's not right. It's on the four ahead, not two. Scoreboard tells us there's two in it. There's four in it. Let's hope the referee is taking good notes here. <laughs> Just in case. And Simon's out coming away with the ball. Regina Han has played a lot deeper in this second half. She's around the middle of the field now. Hits the ball in. Well won there. And she's out in front anyway. Kelly Harris gives it to Kelsey Nesbitt. Nice little side footed pass in towards Nisha de Graff. Nisha on her right foot. That's a great score by Nisha de Graff. First time on her right foot. Knocked it over the bar. A wonderful score. And that puts six between them. So, we're pretty close to time up here. Ball is kicked out. Out towards Alva McHugh. Alva wins it. 
Looking up, looking to give it inside, gives it to Nisha to graph. Nisha on her right foot, blocked down. Nisha might get another chance. This could put it to bed altogether. Hits the post. Kelly Harris. Kelly racing out for the ball, looking for options on her left foot. Did fancy her putting this over the bar? Goes for goal! Yes! A super goal! She slipped as she kicked it. I'm sure that's what she intended, of course. So, she ended up on the ground, but the ball ended up in the net, and that's the main thing. And I think that's curtains now. It's 2.13 to 2.6. It's actually funny. In the semi-final, she scored a goal the exact same, where she fell and it went into the net, you know? So, we can definitely say she meant that. <laughs> Julianne Scanlon. I think the game is up now for Summerhill. Very brave. They fought back, really, when it looked like they might get a bit of a hammering. But Simonstown's work rate has just been too much for them. The an awful lot of pace all over this uh, Simonstown side. Nice twisting and turning. Good tackling by Alton McHugh. Back towards Amory Fagan. Amory Fagan hits it with her right foot. And towards Jenny Rispin. And player down injured there. Uh, number five, Ashley Cassidy down injured. Kelsey uh, Nesbitt down there, a little bit of cramp, I'm not surprised. Been running and racing the whole game. That's it, Porrick. Yeah, with the momentum behind them now, they really can give the senior a serious rattle next year, but it, the, 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 the intensity goes up a serious notch again next year with uh, St. Town and St. Ultimus there in that, and Old Castle as well. Yeah. Uh, Jenny Rispin won't be happy with that particular free. Uh, she's been well marshaled by the Simonstown defence, in fairness. They've done a very, very good job. And, uh, there the ball kicked out the referee blows the final whistle Simonstown are the intermediate champions 2014 they'll make the step back up to senior grade they win by 7 points it was a super game super performance by Simonstown they worked extremely hard throughout the field and their back line was very solid throughout the game midfield worked hard and two or three of their forwards really in particular stood out but the whole forward line really worked so hard today and made it so difficult for Summerhill to even get the ball out of their own defence uh, excellent performance by Simonstown and they'll be relishing next year's challenge that senior football will bring Ron. I think they will because they have the players uh, they, they have the players to uh, play at that level so I definitely will Boric, yeah. Peter you're a happy man when they needed to stand up they showed up in fairness I thought the middle class came in in the end, yeah, in fairness, yeah. you know what I mean? It opened them up, which is great and brilliant, brilliant, delighted for all the girls. So we sign off happy here from uh, Ashburn. A wonderful performance by Simonstown and congrats to them all. 2014 Intermediate Champion.
like to welcome here Brian McKeown, who's going to present the Intermediate Championship Cup. But before he does, uh, we have one small presentation to make. As you all know, ladies football is a team sport, and that was very, very evident on the pitch today as we played for each other in New York Jersey. So we need to be commended for that. It was very difficult to pick just one player above all the rest. The committee that were in charge of it today did pick one person that stood out among the others. That was the uh, number five player from Simon Stein, Ashton Castle. Thank you. 